Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is uh, still Saturday, May 27th, 2023. I'm still the Drunk Poker Group. Clearly, it's still beer time because why wouldn't it be? It's an absolutely gorgeous day here in southern Ontario. There's no wind. It's 6 o'clock. We're getting ready to make some dinner. we got chicken and ribs going on. Boo, boo. But we needed a beer. And we're going to talk about a beer that we talked about in January of 2023. I usually don't do a beer twice in a year, but... <sighs> I would be remiss if we didn't discuss this, because this beer is now available at the LCBO. You were at the LCBO the other day. And much to the dismay of the craft beer glitterati who complain that there's no West Coast IPAs in the world, there's so many of them, if you just look, what they mean is ones nobody else can get but them, but still. From our pals at Oast House comes... Farmer's Tan West Coast IPA from their offshoot series. We had this in January, but it hits different when it's nice outside. So I thought we'd revisit it. You know why? Because that's the kind of guy I am. I believe in the nonsense 6% ABV. You know what's coming up soon from Oast House? <sighs> My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Grandma's strawberry rhubarb pie beer. This is going to have to hold me over. You know the thing is, too, whenever I go, I always grab a Saison. If you've not had the Saison from Oast House, you are missing the AF out. You can use AF in a beer if it's a good beer. What? Don't be mean. I just, I, I really get annoyed when people are like, there's no West Coast IPAs. Well, there's actual, like, core West Coast IPAs available at the LCBO. And then you get, like, these nice kind of offshoot single, you know, seasonal releases. Um, that's part of the reason I want to talk about it. Because this is a nice one. It's, it, again, all different, right? Like, West Coast IPAs, what you're looking for is big and better and bold and aggressive. All right, let's get into it. Cheers, my friends. Always happy to break out the Oast House Teku, one of my OG craft beer glasses. This one goes back almost seven years. Jesus. Where's the time go? Cheers. So I love that Oast House does this because they do make some really great, you know, saisons and all those those fruity friggin' beers where they use fresh fruit from the Niagara region. Always blow me away. That cherry one. I don't even like cherries. I love it. This is nice. Old school. Old school caramel malt. Right? Peach, orange, pineapple, bitter, resinous pine on the back. This is pithy and piney and golden and bitter. It's got a, a pretty heavy mouthfeel for 6%. Like, she's coming at you, boys. Yeah, like, that's... I, I just, I get annoyed. I have so many things to be annoyed about. I'm going to make a whole video about this later on. If you're on one of my other socials, I maybe I'll figure out a way to put it on the YouTubes. But tonight is the 30th anniversary of the Gretzky high stick on Dougie in overtime in Game 6 of the 93 Western Conference Final where there was no penalty called. There has not been an occasion in the last 30 years when I've had more than three beers where I don't bring that up. I'm not bitter. I'm right. But anyways, I'm going to digress from this because that's not this. This is a great West Coast IPA. Los Angeles is on the West Coast. Ah, that explains all my obsession with it. But anyways, looking good. Go to your LCBO. You want a West Coast IPA. And there's some really great core ones. You know, we got Lone Pine. We got Headstock. You know, there's a Bone Shaker. All these great. But there's also some seasonal ones. And it's great to take advantage of that right now. You see it. Great can. You know, cool design. And you know what? The beer inside is excellent too. So let's get after it. This is not my last Oast House beer this year. Maybe we'll revisit this in the fall. Who knows if it comes back to the LCBO. But it's there now. That's why we're talking about it. So you guys have a good night. Poke will see you later. Cheers. Some say this beer is bitter. Much like Poke. About the 93 Leafs. I swear to God, we would have won the cup that year. But that's another story. <laughs>